Israel on Wednesday officially acknowledged that it had destroyed what it said was a nuclear reactor in Syria back in the year 2007. In an aerial operation codenamed Outside the Box, four Israeli F-16s leveled the building in western Syria that Israel said had been designed to produce plutonium, the key material for producing nuclear bombs. The announcement came after a gag order that had been in place for a decade. It clearly shows how the Israelis went out to launch a military strike deep inside a sovereign state like Syria. But the timing of revealing the details of the secretive operation is also noteworthy. The Israelis have openly said revealing the details of how they destroyed a Syrian nuclear reactor is meant to send a signal to Iran. They say this is meant to prove that Israel will not stand idle to see its enemies have nuclear weapons in their hands. Israel always sends the message that when it comes to our security we are acting. Uh, it is part of Israel deterrence. This is what we do. This is what we did. And this is something that all our enemies need to hear and to see. We decided to hold it. The idea was to give uh, what we call the um, denying, denial space to, to Bashar al-Assad, namely without humiliating him, without telling all his people that something dramatic had happened, that some project that no one knew about uh, in Syria had been destroyed. We didn't want to embarrass him. And uh, in order to minimize the risk that there will be retaliation, we might end up in an exchange of clashes. But to many, this is fishing from troubled waters on the part of the Israelis. It comes as tensions around Iran's nuclear deal are rising to new highs. And at a time that both Israel and the United States are saying the 2015 deal was flawed, concerns now are rising that a similar adventure could be taken against Iran. There's very little evidence to suggest that actually that was a nuclear weapons facility in Syria that they bombed in 2007. And, you know, I would, I think this is a very threatening thing for Iran and for Syria as well. The fact of the matter is that Israel is a very aggressive country. Uh, they have plans for expansion and uh, they're not operating within the boundaries of international laws. Iran has repeatedly said it wants to produce energy, not bombs, from its nuclear program. This has been verified consistently by the International Atomic Energy Agency, the IEA, which is the nuclear watchdog of the United Nations. The IEA has, in its periodic reports, announced Iran in full compliance with the 2015 nuclear deal. And this has already removed doubts over Iran's sincerity that its nuclear program is meant for civilian purposes. But it appears that the Israelis and the current administration in the White House prefer to close their eyes to this. There are so many complications here. The first one being that Israel seems to think that no international law uh, holds them accountable for anything that they do. So they have a nuclear program, they have a chemical weapons program, they have a biological weapons program from the evidence that I've been looking at. <clears throat> they refuse to sign any treaties of non-proliferation for any of it. So they are not participating as a responsible party in any of this. And the, their whole premise seems to be that they can have any weapons that they want and do anything they want. And should anyone uh, want to have any kind of deterrent or god forbid retaliate then world war three should start because someone has possibly uh, threatened israel america's efforts to destroy iran's nuclear deal comes at a time when the world is watching with worried eyes saudi efforts to advance its own nuclear ambitions the saudis have been for long facing suspicions that they support the terrorists and this has already developed concerns that a saudi nuclear program could fall into the hands of the terrorists. To the world, that would be the point of no return. Surprisingly, it is now the administration of U.S. President Donald Trump which is helping the Saudis get there.